I'm going to show you how to fix your sewing machine today. My white brand sewing machine was not doing a zigzag. And as you can see, I have three different zigzag stitches, small, medium, and large. And then this is a blind stitch. Well, my sewing machine would not sew either one of them. It would only do a straight stitch. So I'm going to show you how I fix that. It has to do with the timing of the sewing machine. And what I mean by the timing is you want the needle to come down at the time that the hook comes here. This is the actual bobbin case where your bobbin comes and sits inside there. So I've taken this out. So you're going to take these two little clamps and you're going to unclamp each side. And you're going to take the um, this cover off right here. Inside the bobbin case, this portion here, which holds the bobbin, it comes out. So we're going to take that out. And right here at the bottom, this is the hook. And I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a little hook right here. And what this does, this hook will grab the thread as the needle comes down and meets with the bobbin. For your machine to work properly, when the needle comes down, like this, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard to see it. But there's my needle right here. And when a needle comes down, it should be meeting the hook. And as you can see, there's the hook right there. But as it comes down, they should be meeting like right there. I don't know if you can see this, but at the very tip of the hook, the needle is down. Now that would make your timing, you know, pretty good. But if it's not coming down meeting this, then you got a problem. In order to fix the timing, we're going to have to adjust the bar, the needle bar. So I'm going to put my light down. I have taken this little bar off. This bar was sitting on the bottom here and my case kind of slides on it like that. So I took this bar off because so you could see what I was doing. To get to the, t to the needle bar to adjust the timing, it's going to be behind this little case here. Some machines, um, this doesn't come off. You'll have a screw on the side, so you just want to take that screw out. But on mine, the white brand, you just open the door. So convenient. And what you're looking at is you're looking at this bar right here. This is the bar that's holding the needle up and down. We're looking for this bar right here, and it's connected to the needle. So if you were to raise the hand wheel up, you see that this, this bar goes up and down. This is what you want in that little screw right there. But this screw right here is where you adjust your timing. When you adjust the timing, I suggest that you lay the machine down flat. You want to be able to unscrew this screw and also look down at the hook at the same time because you're going to unscrew it. Just I'm not going to do it on mine because I've already done it. And when you unscrew this, you want to unscrew it just slightly because you don't want the screw to come all the way out. Just slightly unscrew it to loosen it up because what's happening is the needle is not going far enough down. So when the bar has been adjusted to the right length for the needle, the hook right here, once it's turned, the tip of it will meet with the, with the actual needle. They'll precisely meet together and that will be in time. So I'm going to turn and watch the needle come down. See the needle? And as the needle comes down right there, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but right here, here is the needle, and here is the hook. And they're both right there together. And that's what you don't you want. You don't want the hook over here and the needle down here. And you don't want the hook back here and the needle down here. You want the needle right here at the tip of the hook. And once you do that, your machine will be operating um, the way it's supposed to. So you just connect everything back. and lock it back in place and now you're ready to insert your bobbin and you're ready to start sewing so I hope this video has been helpful on how to repair your machine and save you a ton of money thanks for watching happy sewing <music>